Greetings and welcome back to 303. We are in Mr. Conrad's Unstoppable Volume and we are on page 4445, Lesson 14, Chapter 14, that he calls Crazy Man. Uh, if you're working in your journals, and I hope that you are for Chapter 14, write this one down as the focus. It's a powerful concept. Let's write it down. Nobody can make you enjoy life. That's an interesting idea. Let's write it down. Nobody can make you enjoy life. Joy of life is a choice. Let's take a look at what he has to say. The problem, read it with me. The problem with some people isn't that they're burned out. Their problem is they were never lit to begin with. I'll read it again. The problem with some people isn't that they're burned out. Their problem is they were never lit to begin with. I believe the person in charge of our pep assemblies had that problem. The assemblies were lame and the kids just sat there. One pep assembly, I pointed myself as faculty cheerleader. Dressed in funky clothing, I came running into the gym with the spirit stick. My goal was to have the kids yell and have fun. That's why they call it a pep assembly. I was acting like a crazy man until someone gave me a megaphone. Then I was totally off the charts. Everyone said they had never heard it so loud. I achieved my goal. Most of the student body had a blast. Others were very disappointed in me. In fact, when we got back to the classroom, they told me so. Mr. Conrad, you made a fool out of yourself, one of them said. You're right, I fired back. Please don't take this the wrong way, but I don't care about what you think. Furthermore, the day I quit caring about what you thought of me is the day I became a better teacher. Whoa, an explosion of laughter erupted when one of them asked what I was on. I laughed too and told the student I was high on endorphin. Can I get some, he asked. Sure, I said. I can't sell it to you, but I can get you high on endorphin. I didn't explain to the class at that point that endorphin is a chemical released by your brain. It's a natural high. I preferred to show them instead. I told them how every New Year's Eve I would take my wife to Sleepy Cat Guest Ranch for dinner and dancing. At 9 o'clock we'd have the dance floor all to ourselves. Even though the place is packed, no one's dancing at 9 o'clock. But just before midnight, the dance floor is so crowded you can barely move. Why do you suppose that is, I asked. The students quickly concluded it was the alcohol. Many people are too inhibited until they've had a few drinks. They use the alcohol to help them break the chains of inhibition. I went on to explain that since I quit drinking years ago, I no longer needed alcohol to fuel my good times. I get fueled by endorphin. Since you asked for some, I'll show you how to get it, I exclaimed. I told the class, how every year at Sleepy Cat, the song YMCA by the village people would be played. I would lead the crowd dancing to YMCA. All the kids raise their eyebrows and just roll their eyes. Guess what we're going to do today, fellas? I asked. The room turned into stone silence. We're going to dance to the song YMCA. Now, the point here that's being made, and let's take a couple of quick notes in your journals. The point here that's being made, and it obviously is one more word picture for Mr. Conrad is that regularly people have a tendency to not want to have a good time, to not want to have fun, unless they're stoned or drunk, their inhibitions have been lowered. And Mr. Conrad will point out, you know, you can have fun, you can be high without any kind of substance. Let's make a couple of quick observations. I think this chapter begs this question, so let's write it down. I'm, I'm talking to a bunch of seniors at Warren High School. Question, are you burned out? Write this question down. Are you burned out? And when were you last on fire? And what happened? Well, it seems to me this is a legitimate question. If you enter your senior year and you're kind of burned out, can you remember ever being excited to go to school? When was that last for you? Some of you will say that never happened, but when I interview your parents, they will say, oh yeah, no, kindergarten was a big dog deal had to get the back to school stuff, had to show up, had to, some seniors will report, well, yeah, back then, but that's when we had recess and it was F-U-N. Question, is that how you'll live the rest of your life then? Oh, no, 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 it's going to be fun for me once I'm out of high school. Really? The way kindergarten once was fun, and then life becomes repetitive, and then it all gets boring. Oh, what kind of 40-year-old will you be? Write that question down, it's a fair one. Will you be the 40-year-old that 18-year-olds, people your age now, look at and go, oh, man, when I'm 40, I hope I don't end up like that guy. Hmm. 
The natural high is better. Conrad says you should believe this. He's going to have more to say about this one. And finally, you have the power to determine your own happiness. That's the point here. Let's write that one down. You have the power to determine your own happiness. You will remember in our conversations about Wordsworth's Tintern Abbey, he says it, that serene and blessed mood. He says you get to choose your mood. Your mood does not choose you. Powerful idea. There you go. Chapter 14 of Mr. Conrad's Unstoppable. Thank you.